Hello and welcome back to my channel, A Bookish Persuasion. If you're new here, welcome. So am I. We'll be new together. Um, today I wanted to do my January TBR video. I've never done an official TBR video. I've kind of had ideas about books I wanted to read in the past, but this is the first time I'm actually going to set a real plan of what books I want to read and for what reason. Um, I'm sure like most booktubers, we just want to read all the books all the time. <laughs> I have a hard time. I mean, my bookshelves are a mess, otherwise I would show them to you. But I have like three shelves of books worth of TBR, one of which is behind me that I just really want to read. Um, so <laughs> we'll just get started with this month and see how things go. So this month I'm participating in two different readathons, as well as a year-long readathon, I believe. So the year-long readathon is um, Diversathon 2021. Now the prompt for this month is a book set in Iceland. I need your help. I don't have any books set in Iceland. I was going to originally switch the prompts for January and February because I thought a book that I am really excited about being released in February was set in Iceland, but it's actually set in Norway, so that doesn't count. Um, so I'm going to need some suggestions, but I'm still planning to find a book for that prompt. Um, the next one I'm participating in is Buzz Wordathon, which is actually currently going on as I'm filming this. Today is the third. Yes, I'm behind in every aspect of booktube but I don't care this is for fun and I'm enjoying it so hopefully you are too um buzzwordathon the is hosted by books and lala and it's from January 1st to January 7th it's a year-long series but it's the first week of each month I believe and the prompt for this month is or the buzzword for this month is dream so I'll share a little bit about what I plan to read for that and then I'm also participating in a readathon that I just think sounds super cool called Medievalathon by Holly Hart's Books. I am super into medieval times. Um, my husband and I love Renaissance fairs. We love like swords and daggers and dressing up and you know, just all that stuff. I love like medieval set books. Um, so I think this will be a lot of fun. So I'm just gonna go through the, the books I plan to read for each of those readathons and then if there's others I can get to, then I definitely will. But for now, this is what I hope to get to. So first off for the Buzzwordathon, my first read is Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis. I'm hoping I pronounced this right. I actually finished this yesterday. Well, it, Where Dreams Descend was a good option. I love the cover. Whoop. I think it had a good um, premise, like a good idea. But we'll talk about that more in my wrap up. It just wasn't my personal favorite. Next is Liani Taylor's Strange the, Strange the Dreamer, which I know a lot of us are planning to read for Buzzwordathon. Um, so I'm actually on chapter 13, I want to say. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look. But I'm excited about this one. So far, it's keeping my interest. So I'm hoping to finish that in the next couple of days or so. Uh, work starts back tomorrow. I do work full time. So most of my reading gets done at night or on the weekends. But I try to at least read 100 pages a day. So hopefully that'll be finished this week. Um, some other ones that are on my list for the Buzzwordathon that I don't own or have physical copies of, but that I've either borrowed from the library on audiobook or have available on Scribd. Um, those are going to be Dream a Little Dream, which is the Silver Trilogy or the Silver Trilogy. I think it's the Silver Trilogy. The Dream Thieves, um, which is the second in the Raven Boys series. And then Call Down the Hawk, which is part of the Dreamers Trilogy by Maggie Seabotter. I forget who the other books are by. I'm so sorry. Um, I will be a better booktuber in the future, but for the now, um, that's kind of what I'm hoping and getting to, and they're kind of in order. So once I read Strange the Dreamer, I want to read The Dream Thieves, and then where, wait, Dream the Little Dream, and if I have more time, bring down the hawk, call down the hawk, The Dreamer's Trilogy. Um, so for Medieval of Time, I plan on reading, there's it's really cool. Definitely check it out if you're into readathons and if you're into building a character. So the way that Medieval Thon is going to work is, and I'm looking at my bullet journal here because I just am not prepared, whatever. I'll figure it out as I go along. Um, so there's four, there's seven different stages depending on how many books that you read. So you, we all start off at zero, which is prisoner. Um, and then if you read one book, you become a peasant. If you read two books, you become a a squire. I almost thought it was saint. Squire. Um, three books, you're a knight. Four books, you're a noble. Five books, you're a princess. Six, you're a queen. Seven, you're an empress. And they're 
not gender specific. I just listed them for what I would be a princess. You could be a prince, you can be a king instead of a queen, you can be an emperor instead of an empress and so on. Um, and then within each of those tiers, there's actually professions. There's five different professions to choose from. There's seamstress, blacksmith, bard, baker, and clergy. And I think I'm going to go for the seamstress profession. And then if I have, if I accomplish that one, then I'll probably go on to one of the other ones. But the prompts for seamstress are uh, the, read the prettiest book on your shelf, read the last book you bought, read a book with an embossed or foiled cover, read the first book in a series, and a read a book you're unsure about. So I'll just go through those with you. So the prettiest book on my shelf, um, at the moment, I, don't, I change my mind all the time, but right now I really love Sky Hunter by Mary, Marie Lou. I think it's Marie Lou. I just think the colors are really pretty. I mean, typically I like, I like colorful books. I like flowery books. I like, I don't know. <laughs> There's different things that pique my interest. I think my favorite prettiest book is Wild Beauty, but I've already read that. So um, this will be my prettiest book that I have not read. Um, and this is really about a character named Talon. Um, so in a world broken by war, a team of young warriors is willing to sacrifice everything to save what they love. I really like friend groups. So I'm hoping this young warriors is a friend group. And I really like like battles, like good versus evil kind of thing. I have no idea what else this is about. Oh, look at that. I didn't even realize it said Sky Hunter on the the pages. So that's cool. But I am excited to read this. I know Mar Marie Lou, she did um, the Legend series and the Young Elites, neither of which I have read. I did read her series Warcross, which I enjoyed just because I like video games and game books in general. Well, not my favorite, but I still enjoyed them. So I think this will be a fun read. And again, it's just super pretty. So that's going to be the first prompt. The second one, which is the last book I bought, there's actually two that I'm interested in reading. <sighs> I'll probably just read both of them, but I don't know. So something that I've discovered I've recently loved are thick, chunky paperback books. So my most recent purchases were From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout and then The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. Now, this book is the second in the Mistborn series. I just read the first one last month, and I loved it. Um, it was a slow burn about people that called Mistings or Mistborn that they can eat metal, essentially, and use those metals for a specific power. It was really cool, but if you don't like slow burn or if you don't like high fantasy, this probably isn't for you, but I am super excited to read this one. So that's why I'm possibly going to read both of these. Now, from Blood and Ash, I don't know much about. I know it's a little bit smutty. I know it's a fantasy, I want to believe. Yep. And it's perfect for fans of Sarah J. Mass and Lara, Laura Tal Talasa. I'm going to butcher all these names, but Sarah J. Mass is my absolute favorite author of all time. So if it says that I'm going to be a fan of this because I like her work, then probably I'll like this one. So basically it's about a maiden, a duty, and a kingdom. I think the main character is a maiden and she's not allowed to be touched or looked upon, but that's really all I know. I think I am assuming that she doesn't stick to those rules and some sort of romance is born, but I just oh, I love the big chunky paperbacks. They're just so much fun. So I look forward to reading both of those. This one's actually more pages even though this one's thicker you can't really tell but this one's more pages which is super weird to me I just thought that was really funny all right next I'm going to read a book with an embossed or foiled cover now I do have an audiobook of the city of brass that I am possibly going to read because I really want to read kingdom of copper for next month buzzwordathon but I also need a little bit of a shorter book in my life and I just got pet in the mail um so I think I have no idea how to pronounce her name I will look this up for my next videos because I, I just, I don't know yet. I'm learning. I'm new. Hopefully you'll give me some grace. <laughs> it's a fairly short read. It says, pet is here to hunt a monster. Are you brave enough to look? And I just think, first off, the cover is beautiful. But second, it's a really short book. So with all my chunky books that I'm selecting, this will be good to read. But I may also read The City of Brass as well. Um, next is the first book in a series. And for that, I really want to read Leonie Taylor's Daughter of Smoke and Bone. So I'm enjoying Strange and Dreamer so far, but I am really excited to read this. The more I hear about it, the more I want to read it. And I just purchased myself the entire like new cover <laughs> edition 
because I don't like the original covers and I think this is gorgeous. Like honestly, this could probably fall under one of my prettiest covers too. I just like the colors. It says, once upon a time an angel and a devil fell in love. It did not end well. Sounds good to me. I like angels and demons and I don't know, all sorts of paranormal type books. Lastly is a book you're unsure about. Now I have a couple, um, two of which are on my These Books Will Self-Destruct in 12 months list. So I'm choosing one of those. It was between The Night Circus and A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. And I chose A Thousand Pieces of You because I already attempted to read The Night Circus before and I just wasn't into it. Um, so I wanted to give a different book a try. And actually, so this is one I, I bought without knowing anything about on Book Alley years ago. I just thought it was a pretty cover. Again, I like colors on covers. But basically reading through this um, or reading the synopsis, it actually sounds like something I might enjoy. Marguerite? Marguerite? is the main character. Her parents are both physicists, which I've been watching The Big Bang, so I'm all about physicists at the moment. Um, and they're, her mom created a device that allows them to jump into different dimensions, but then somebody kills her father, and they think the person who did it, they think they know the person who did it, but he jumps into another dimension. So, so that just actually sounds pretty cool. Um, but again, I didn't know anything about it when I bought it. That's why I put it on my 12 books will self-destruct. So that is 10 books, 11 books if you count both The Wall of Ascension and From Blood and Ash. I, I read 12 books last month and that was reading pretty much every day except for Christmas. So I think that's fairly reasonable for me is about 10 to 12 books a month. So if I don't hit them all, that's totally fine. If I read more, I'll be super excited because I just want to read all of the books. I have a huge backlist as well as a lot of new releases that are going to be coming out. Um, so I'll be excited to read all of those. So hopefully if you're reading any of these, let me know. Um, I am in the discord groups for both buzzword and medieval a -thon, So you can definitely find me there and we can chat, but thank you so much for listening in. Hopefully you've read some of these. Tell me if I'm going to like them or not. Tell me which ones I should prioritize and I will talk to you next time. Bye.